morning. Uh, I'm Tad Schuchter, I'm the chief engineer uh, of the Corvette. I've uh, been working on Corvettes for 20 years and uh, never been prouder than uh, now bringing out uh, this new Stingray. Uh, the Corvette is built uh, much like an aircraft. We, we, when you look at aerospace technology, it rolls down into race cars and then we uh, eventually put it on the street and the Corvette has been a pioneer in doing just that. Uh, the all-new new aluminum frame is optimized for open air stiffness and lightness. Uh, we took 100 pounds out of that frame uh, from the previous generation car, and yet it's 60 percent, almost 60 percent stiffer. So when the structure is that stiff, you'll see it on the roads today. You're riding over very rough roads. When the car is that stiff, it uh, feels very confident and gets through the rough stuff uh, without much difficulty with great uh, directional stability. I mentioned the carbon fiber. We've had uh, carbon fiber Class A panels on the street for a decade uh, on Corvette, stretching all the way back to the end of the fifth generation Corvette. We were putting carbon fiber on the street. Many manufacturers are talking that they're going to do a lot with carbon fiber. Uh, we've been executing it. Uh, and then finally, are at the point where we've driven the cost down, where we can actually make it standard on certain panels on the car. We're doing the hood to try to take weight off the front, shift the center of gravity rearward uh, over the rear wheels. Uh, this car actually has a slightly rear bias now uh, from 50-50. And then we do it on the, the roof uh, for a couple of reasons. One is to drop the center of gravity, keep lowering the center of gravity. Also, the roof panel is removable, so you want to make it as light as possible. So even though it's uh, a little bit bigger, so more open air experience with the roof off, uh, it's much, much lighter uh, than the previous generation car, so it's much easier to take off for one person and stow in the back of the car. If you look underneath the panels, you'll find uh, new formulations of what people traditionally think of as fiberglass. We use mixes of glass and carbon fiber with nano clay, so carbon nano composites. Uh, it's amazing stuff. Uh, it's lighter, less dense, and uh, much stiffer. Uh, instead of using a traditional um, filler in the resin that's uh, designed to reduce the specific gravity of the material. We use this nano clay, which is little corkscrew shaped elements. If you looked under an electron microscope, you'd see these little corkscrews and they mix into the resin and they get tangled up in the glass and carbon fibers and bind them all together to create the great stiffness and uh, low mass of those panels. I want to show a little video. Uh, a lot of people aren't totally familiar with how a Corvette goes together, so we got a little assembly sequence here. We're using some of the same technologies that we used on the sixth generation car, but a lot of new technologies, high pressure die casting, laser welding, hollow castings. That, that stuff wasn't even available, didn't even exist the last time uh, we did the car, so state of the art. Uh, materials, material properties, manufacturing techniques, the way we join the whole car together uh, is all state of the art. We have a brand new uh, body shop in Bowling Green. What you see there is the adhesive patterns. That's uh, The car is uh, very, to a very great extent uh, bonded together. There's a combination of mechanical fasteners and uh, bonds. Uh, this, is, this is actually showing the assembly sequence uh, for the rest of the car. 